Ken Griffin is in the process of building the most expensive home in the world. It's going to be a $1 billion mega mansion in Palm Beach. This project is on track to be unlike anything we have ever seen in residential real estate development before. Ken has spent over a decade amassing 25 acres worth of the most prime real estate that you can get in Palm Beach. And this isn't just some pipe dream. He has officially begun construction on a home that is estimated to cost around $450 million to build. This property is going to make a mansion like the one in LA feel like a shack. And unlike the Antilia property in Dubai where Mukesh Ambani lives, which is much more like a commercial skyscraper, Griffin's house is going to be a regular run-of-the-mill single-family residence. Just a really, really big single-family residence. Now, if you don't know who Ken Griffin is, don't confuse him with the old baseball player Ken Griffey Jr. And he's also not related to Peter Griffin from Family Guy. You're a businessman. I'm a businessman, and I've got a proposal that I guarantee you can't refuse. Ken is a hedge fund manager, investor, and CEO of Citadel LLC, one of the largest market makers in the United States. In other words, he pulls together funds, he invests money, and then he takes a cut of the profits when those investments perform. This strategy has done Ken really well. At the age of 55, he's already got a net worth of around $34 billion, which kind of explains why this guy is in the process of building a billion dollar home in Palm Beach. Now, Ken Griffin is no stranger to luxury real estate. We featured him here on the channel a couple of times for his wild real estate buys. In 2018, Griffin bought a condo in Chicago near his office. He paid 58.5 million for this place, which was the biggest sale Chicago had ever seen. In 2019, he bought a 24,000 square foot condo in Manhattan at 220 Central Park South. He paid a record breaking 200 $138 million for this one. Later that year, Ken bought a house near Buckingham Palace in London. He paid $122 million for this one. In 2020, he scooped up an $85 million plot of land in the Hamptons. He's got an assemblage of properties on Star Island that we talked about the other day. He spent around $170 million on real estate here. And in 2022, Ken bought a 25,000 square foot mansion in Miami-Dade for $107 million. Absolutely bonkers. His real estate deals are honestly kind of hard to keep up with. It's like every single property that he buys is a trophy property and we haven't even got to the Palm Beach ones yet. This is the compound that he's been kind of quietly putting together in Palm Beach over the past 10 or so years. You can see in this picture he picked up a total of 14 parcels and many of these parcels already had huge mansions on them when he bought them. Altogether this adds up to about 25 acres worth of land and you guys are not going to believe the prices that he paid for some of these lots. So shout out to the Palm Beach Post. They put together an article here which covers every piece of property that Ken Griffin had to buy to put together this assemblage that we were just looking at. Let's run through this really quick. Starting in 2012, he picked up four adjacent properties in Palm Beach. They totaled about eight acres. This is what got things started. He paid $130 million for these. In 2015, he bought this house nearby. He paid $15.25 for this one. 2017, he bought this house at 1290 South Ocean Boulevard, just south of his estate. He paid 85 million for this house and basically immediately tore it down. I guess his initial plans were that he wanted to build this house here in around 2017. This place apparently stretched longer than a football field, but he scratched these plans and went on to buy more land over the next couple of years. By 2018, he expanded the estate with this lakefront purchase. He paid 20 million for this one. Just a few months later, he paid 20 million for this house and then he remodeled it. I guess this one's for his mom. By June of 2019, this neighboring property became available. This is an ocean to lake mansion. Ken paid $105 million for this house. And then the final piece of the puzzle was this house right here. He paid $99.13 million for this mansion and he has since demolished this one as well. When I see all this, I can't help but think just how awesome it would have been to be one of those neighbors and those houses surrounding this big plot of land that he's trying to put together. 
there. It'd be pretty fun to talk to some of those homeowners who ended up basically hitting the jackpot by selling their place to Ken Griffin. As far as the location is concerned, we're about a quarter mile south of Mar-a-Lago, so this is definitely a ritzy area. And Rob Report shared that Ken's new compound has actually been approved by the architectural board. The house itself is going to occupy eight of the 25 acres here, and it will include a pool, a main residence, a guest house. And they also said that Ken plans to use the entire property as his retirement home. This perspective here shows us what the lot looks like today. He's already torn down several mansions to make way for the new home, and the lot looks pretty flat here, but I've been told that this is actually about 40 or 50 feet worth of dirt built up on the lot. I wanna give a shout out as well to Ed Stifel. I'm gonna to link to him and his company's name down in the description. Ed went out to this property to try to get some footage for me. Unfortunately, at this point, this was all he was able to get, but he's gonna try to go back there another time to get a better look for us. The Post was able to get a hold of this aerial floor plan of the estate that Ken's building here. I guess this is from Stove Design Group, and the town of Palm Beach also was part of providing this. But anyways, you can kind of see the compound here. It's a massive property, and I actually think this only represents a fraction of what he's going to be building here. Got the road here on our left side. Then we've got the ocean here over on the right. This driveway, if you follow number one, two, three, takes you basically just to a motor cord. I'm pretty sure that's just for guests. But then if you go down here by the number 28, this takes you up this long driveway, which will lead you to the garage. I'm sure there's gonna be room for like 20 cars in here. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to pick up on this, but we've got the master bedroom and a fitness room over here on the bottom section. Up here is a screen porch, an office, and then the kitchen family room dining room is all in this center section. The living room and theater are right here, and I'm pretty sure this says salt room. I have no idea what that is. I thought it was kind of interesting that the properties pushed so far forward towards the ocean, and the pool and the landscaping and backyard and everything is actually over here on the front side of the house. He probably just did that for privacy. Unfortunately, there's not too much for renderings, but we do have this perspective, which shows us just how long the home will be when it's finished. This one here gives us a closer view. Loss of glass, which is no surprise considering this place is going to have amazing views even where it's just looking out into the landscape. Here's a close-up of one of those pools and spas. It looks like something straight up out of a resort. Then check this one out. I don't know if this is the foyer or what, but look at that ceiling height. This person here looks like an ant in this room. Okay, so you guys know that sometimes I post shorter versions of these stories on my Instagram and TikTok pages, which Follow me there if you're not already. I posted this story we're talking about today on TikTok just a few days ago, and it has gone absolutely bonkers with views and with comments. I guess there's a lot of people out there who have some very serious opinions about a guy who's building a billion dollar house, so I figured that we could address some of those top comments from that video right here. So first of all, there's a ton of people who are making comments about how a judge just said that Trump's Mar-a-Lago property is only worth $18 million, so if that's the case, how could Griffin house be worth a billion when it's done. Let's just put it this way, all politics aside, if we just look at this from an appraisal standpoint and consider all of those properties that Ken Griffin bought over the past 10 years that are all a quarter mile south of Mar-a-Lago, that tells me that Mar-a-Lago is worth way more than $18 million, but I don't know, that's just my two cents. Let me know what you guys think. There were hundreds, if not thousands of people who were basically saying stuff like, eat the rich, one man should never have this much money, and how this is basically just a disgusting display of wealth. And look, I do feel for people who have this perspective because it is a little bit weird and excessive to see one guy spending a billion dollars on a single house for himself. But my counter argument here is that for one, Griffin is going to create thousands of jobs over the next several years as he builds out this compound. He's also going to generate a ridiculous amount of tax revenue for the city as a result of what he's doing here. Not to mention, it's pretty well documented that Ken has donated at least hundreds of millions of dollars to various organizations over recent years. So I don't know, with all of that in mind, my stance on this is that if he wants to go build some crazy mega mansion with his billions of dollars, who cares? It's going to be super interesting watching this story unfold over the course of the next couple of years. And while it's unlikely we're ever going to get to see the inside, seeing that Ken is building this thing out for himself and it'll probably never go up for sale, at least we're gonna get to live vicariously through whatever insiders end up leaking information along the way. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys next time.